It's Thursday, and that means it's time once again to ask Ellen your weather questions. So this one comes from Mike. He says, do we tend to get more snow in the 20s versus temps under 10? He says this debate has a mild disagreement at his work. So Ellen, can you settle this disagreement? I love this. I hope there's a bet attached to this in the workplace so that we can see some uh, money exchange hands after the answer. Okay, so this is a really interesting one. We're going to give you the answer, and then we're going to also talk about how Lake Michigan really changes this up. So Lake Michigan oftentimes uh, creates an exception to the rule. Okay, let's just start with the science. Cold air usually can't hold as much moisture. Of course, air can't hold moisture, but just uh, for, you know, simplicity's sake, let's say that cold air can't hold as much moisture because it can't contain as much. Warm air, on the other hand, can contain much more moisture. Well, we know that snow is made of water, right? So if we have more moisture, it usually creates conditions where we can see more snow. So when we have warmer temperatures, like air in the 20s, there's a better chance that we're going to be seeing more snow than temperatures near 10. All right, here is the caveat, Lake Michigan. If we have cold air rolling over Lake Michigan, it supercharges the air. And so that creates big snow totals. That means if we have air in the 20s rolling across, you know, it gets some moisture boost. But if we get air temperatures in the 10s rolling across, it gets a huge boost and a lot more snow. So the answer is we usually see more snow when temps are in the 20s, unless you live by Lake Michigan. Okay. See, always good. You always know. I wonder which one Mike was on. I wonder which one Mike oh. thought. I'm going to write back and tell us. And if you have a weather question for Ellen, you can send us an email at the7 at woodtv.com.